Hey guys, it's Maggie and I'm back today and you might be able to tell I got a new little piece of equipment here. <laughs> I figured I would test it out because I bought it for the conference. So yeah, got a nice little mic here that looks like it has a some kind of animal foot on it. I don't know. I noticed when we were filming at the UOAA conference last August, there were a couple clips that we took in the exhibit hall where it was kind of loud where you couldn't hear me because it was just so dang loud. So I wanted to make sure I had something because the reporting side of this, the filming is really important. <laughs> this go around, I wanted to make sure that I had something that definitely would capture my voice. And I figured what better way to test it than film a little vlog, enjoying the snow and the cold weather and the wind and see how it turns out. So yeah, we are outside, Holly and I somewhere. Where did Holly go? Hey, Holly. Oh, Holly, oh, there you are. Where's she, there she is. Okay, she's running ahead. <laughs> I'm out here with Holly though, and we're enjoying the weather as we get through the brush. <sighs> what are you doing? Come on. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. I am loving it. Oh, I forgot, I can walk away. I can walk away and still talk to you guys. Wait, <laughs> how cool is that? I'm all the way over here. Oh wait, over here. <laughs> and hopefully you guys can still hear me. Isn't that neat? I apologize if the sound is not perfect because I'm learning You know, if my hair can brush the mic or if I can like accidentally bump it and uh, you know how much noise that'll make, we'll see. But yeah, I, I really need to get packing for us. I'm the one that does most of the packing. Zach will pick out his clothes and stuff, but you know, I get the chargers and the important things. <laughs> Whew, we haven't done a, uh, a walk and talk in a while here. Whew. I'm really looking forward to this trip though. And I have my schedule. I think I mentioned this, I have my schedule. It is jam packed. I think there's a morning where we start at 6 a.m., <laughs> so it'll be it'll be pretty tiring. But I think uh, I, I just think we're gonna learn a ton, and it'll be nice to really immerse myself in the IBD world again. I focus a lot on ostomies, I know, but um, learning the new treatments and not just medicinal treatments, alternative treatments too. I'm really excited about that. Oh, I gotta stop for a minute. I put my camera tripod down in the snow to film myself and um, it's freezing cold. My hand is, is freezing. I don't have gloves out here. And my hand's getting tired from holding the camera up. <laughs> yeah, Holly, you just get to run and play. I gotta hold the camera. Anyways, I thought I would just at least give you a little sight of the pretty snow before we head inside and we start packing away all of our stuff for Las Vegas and we head to Crohn's Colitis Congress in Vegas. Okay, let's go inside. I'm, I'm really cold. <laughs> I am so cold today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I have a hair dryer up my back right now. Don't tell me I'm the only one that does this. I know I'm not. Um, it's the next day. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. I am just about to change my ostomy bag and I was hoping that this one would last just a little bit longer because we leave on Wednesday and it's Monday today because um, I want to wear Convitec out there. I'm not messing around. I'm sick of the Hollister ones leaking between the flange and the bag, but um, I only have a couple more Convitec. I have to order supplies again, so I'm going to switch over, but until that moment, I'm just using up Hollister. So I'm doing a quick bag change because I have an appointment in a little bit to get a wax done. <laughs> Figured I should schedule that before going out to Vegas. Oh God, my hair's everywhere. Yeah, last night wound up being rough. After I came inside, I got a terrible headache. Um, couldn't, couldn't really do anything. So uh, I felt nauseated and couldn't really look at screens or anything. So I wound up going to bed at 8 p.m., which is why you didn't hear anything else from me yesterday. You're hearing from me today. I can still feel the headache. It usually gets worse towards nighttime. So when I woke up this morning and I still sort of felt it there, 
I jumped right in the shower because I knew that there was a chance it could come back and I might not want to shower. I got it done though, I got it done. So we're gonna change the old ostomy bag today. It's definitely needing it. No matter how much I talk about using the non-drainables and like exactly what I do with them, I still get questions about them. Um, like, oh my gosh, you must go through so many bags per day. And that is not the case because 90% of the time, if not more, I am emptying, probably 95% of the time, I am just emptying from the ring, tilting it over the toilet, and that's how I do it, so. And I just cannot get Velcro closures clean. And when I say that, I mean, I can get them fairly clean, but when I fold them up, because my output sometimes gets so watery, it seeps through no matter how tightly I close it up, it still seeps through and it winds up getting on my clothes and I don't feel like dealing with that. I don't feel like bringing water with me or a little squirt bottle with me when I'm out of the house and I need to empty my ostomy. Also just where my stoma is on my belly when I have a Velcro closure or a clip closure, it lands right there, right where my leg <laughs> like curls up. So that is super annoying when I sit down. It, it is irritating to me. I need to protect my clothing. The nice thing is, is I can still talk to you guys even when I walk away from the camera. That's why I love this little mic thing. <laughs> and also, you know, my first experience going over to Zach's apartment when we were dating was my clip falling off in the bed. And that was horrible. And I've also had Velcro closures come undone on me so I don't I don't like to mess with them I've been doing this for so long and I do the same thing with Convitec bags when I switch to them they're a little bit longer which is actually going to be nice when I'm at the conference and you know might not be going to the bathroom as often might not be able to or just when we're exploring Vegas over the weekend um yeah so let me peel this guy off he was sticking well but he was peeling up on the outer edges there. I tried on a bunch of the outfits. I feel like Leroy's about to go. I need more toilet paper. <laughs> Close. Tried on a few different conference outfits and kind of figured out what I want to wear. So that is good. Can you guys even see my stoma? Leroy has been kind of active this morning, so I'm just, I'm being careful. Being careful right now. But yeah, tried on some of the outfits that I want to wear, just uh, mainly for the conference. I didn't even pick outfits yet for the other days, which I should probably do. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to change my bag. Get my hair off of me. I'm, I'm losing so much hair again. It is ridiculous. I'm going to change my bag, though, the morning that we leave. I think that's the best idea. We have a two and a half hour car ride down to Baltimore because we're actually, I think I mentioned this, we're flying out of BWI so we can drop Nanners off at Zach's dad's house. Um, so it should, my body heat should warm up to it, should stick pretty well by the time we get on the plane. Our flight's at noon, so yeah. I'm so tired, man. We're gonna get this appointment done, we're gonna pack, and I think that's all I'm doing today. Tomorrow we're gonna clean the house. Yeah, there we go. Here's a tip for you, if you never thought about this. This is something I usually do, I didn't today. Usually I'll change my bag right after shower. So I'll get in the shower, peel my bag off while I'm in there to get the skin really, really clean. Um, I will have prepared my flange prior, and I'll put it on the counter here. Make sure you leave the door open because sometimes it gets humid in the bathroom when you're showering and it'll make this not stick to you nearly as well. So just a little tidbit I learned from one of my recent bag changes. The whole flange was like, look kind of swollen looking by the time I was done my shower. So yeah. All right. I think we are good. Let's get this baby on there quick. <laughs> Okay, we are all set. Good, good, good. So, I'm going to go around the house. You can see all my junk over there. That's my uh, makeup bag. I'm going to put some of our toiletries in there. I'm going to go around the house, 
get my stuff together for packing and then I'm gonna leave for my waxing appointment in just a little bit. Okay, let's get ready to go to my wax appointment. I have my regular mic back on, no, uh, no little lavalier. <laughs> but yes, let me uh, get the car started so I can move my seat up to where I can reach again. Is that close enough? Nope, a little more. <laughs> I can't help it that my husband is a foot taller than me. <sighs> so yes, I am getting a Brazilian wax. I know some people find that atrocious. Uh, I've had a few people tell me. I actually find it to be very helpful for the proctocolectomy incision that I have on my bottom. It seems to keep things nice and pristine without going into too much detail. It keeps things like clean and airy in there. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm giving you too much information. But uh, yeah, I found it really does help. And rather than shaving, <laughs> I get a lot of irritation anywhere that I shave. And I don't know if that's because I have sensitive skin or what, but this just gets rid of that problem. Um, so I thought I would schedule right before we went to Vegas in case we wind up going in a pool or something. I am going to bring a swimsuit. Don't let me forget, guys. When I edit tonight, <laughs> make sure you have your swimsuit. All right, let's 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 get on the road. I haven't driven on snow. I only have a small portion of snow I have to drive on here because of our driveway. Um, it's We have a stone driveway, so I don't know how we would shovel that. Not well, at least. Um, and I have definitely slid down the hill in front of our house before in my vehicle, so let's hope we don't do that this time. All right, I am all done, got my appointment all finished up and got a, not a very long drive. It's only like 15, 20 minutes back to home where We'll get our stuff packed for Vegas, woo! All right, I am home, as you can tell. I've got the space heater directly on me because I'm freezing cold. It's all right. Got my suitcase, which is an absolute mess behind me. I've been planning out my outfits, like I said. I've got a few that I, I'm fairly certain I'm gonna go for for the conference, and then I started pulling out some outfits because you gotta look good in Vegas, you know? Started pulling out a couple things for that, and uh, basically just threw them into my suitcase without folding them so hopefully they have a flat iron not a flat iron an iron there <laughs> an iron there so I can iron my clothes um, but yes I what else do we got here I don't think I showed you this I actually got this last summer for my swimsuit video and it arrived too late from when I wanted to post that video this is an ostomy specific swimsuit and it is from Spain. I apologize. I don't remember the name of the company. Sil? Hold on. S-I-I-L Ostomy Line. Made in Spain. I was right. Um, yes, I have seen this bathing suit for a few years. And I really wanted it. And it's gorgeous. It is so pretty. And so I'm bringing it to Vegas in case we go swimming. Got that in there, got my ostomy supply bag started. I like to put it in a Ziploc. I like to label it ostomy supplies so that way if anybody goes through my suitcase, if they're searching it, they know what it is. No questions asked. So, got that there. Got my shoes and stuff. Um, I had a pair, had a pair of heels somewhere. I feel like I can't turn too much because I've got my regular mic on my camera. I didn't realize that I left my little mics out. And so they are on when they're out of the case, meaning that the battery is dying. Um, the case acts as a charger, which is so cool. I can carry it around the conference. It'll be charging as I'm doing my thing and then I can pull it out when needed. So I think this is so cool. This little piece is, I don't know what you call it. It's the thing that connects to my camera and I can just hook it on there. And then these are the mics and I have two microphones so you'll see when I take them out of the case they turn on and if you look at my little thingamabobber here you can see the volume go up when I talk how cool is that so yeah 
gotta leave them in the case though so they don't die because I don't know how to turn them off when they're just sitting out so there we go and I've got my little cannon bag hold on cannon bag <laughs> for all of my other camera stuff I have my light on my camera now but that'll go in here I've got my phone tripod holder another little baby tripod bunch of different what the heck is this oh SD cards I think that was from Texas battery charger got all my junk so I'll put in a few extra lenses um, my camera will wind up going in there when I'm not currently using it yeah and the last thing that I'm going to be bringing uh, aside from medications future Maggie as you're editing this please make sure that you're bringing your medications um, the other thing I'm bringing along is electrolytes and the funny thing is is that I just used up the last of the element electrolytes I've been using them more than once a day typically I'll drink one packet a day but as you know my ostomy has been a little bit crazy since the antibiotic round and I'm taking probiotics I'm doing all the things but it's still it's still not quite right so I'm drinking like two packets a day anyways last night when I was not feeling good I was looking through my array of electrolytes and the element one I had one left and I was like that's that's the strongest out of all the ones I have let's go for that one with this crazy headache and so I did and I ran out well I don't know who did this and I'm thinking it's it's element themselves I'm thinking it's that company unless somebody claims that they sent it to me themselves um, I got a package two packages today didn't order didn't expect it I saw it in the mailbox when I was leaving for my waxing appointment and uh, pulled them out when I got home I got two packages from them and I, I, I don't know who they're from the way that the, it looks the way that it looks it appears as though they sent it because some of the stuff that they sent is in like advertising type packaging <laughs> not quite the packaging that uh, the one I bought came in I haven't opened these yet I'm gonna wait on it but they also sent this guy which I am so intrigued by I saw this the flavors in this um, chocolate medley electrolyte pack just are not what you would expect so we've got chocolate mint chocolate chai and chocolate raspberry I'm so excited that's crazy so I can't wait to try that yeah it came in this cute little box here amazing and stickers too I got stickers and then in the other box they sent me a little water bottle so that'll come with me to Vegas because I need a small water bottle to carry around. Also, a hat. How cute is that? <laughs> and then this little newspaper thing. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this out. I'm going to contact um, my management company to see if maybe they had something to do with this. Because it was sent to my house, nowhere else. Look at that salt and salt that's cute that's cute so anyways yeah I gotta figure out if it was element that sent that thank you so much I I'm shocked if somebody sent this and it wasn't the company thank you so much please please email me and tell me if it was element again thank you so much crazy these babies are coming with me to Vegas um, because it's gonna be it's not gonna be hot there but it's gonna be a little bit warmer than home and I'm gonna be doing the most and I'm gonna need electrolytes so heck yeah I'm gonna have to update you guys on these babies I am so intrigued by them I really liked their other um, I'll have to figure out the name of the pack it was it was just a variety pack though and they had like citrus salt and raspberry salt and watermelon salt and a fourth flavor maybe strawberry I really liked that one and I found them to work very well so curious about the chocolate one how many are in here <gasps> it's a 30 pack ah! and then these these little guys I don't know what's in here I'm gonna have to open them but I'm not gonna do it yet I'm not gonna do it yet I want to film it I want to make sure that I, I give them credit <laughs> 
had to share that. I just thought that was so neat. Um, I'm really glad that I discovered them through Thrive. I mean, some of you guys have mentioned them, but when I went on Thrive Market, I saw that that was one of their electrolyte options, and I looked at what the electrolytes contained, and it was a little bit stronger than other ones that I've used, so um, that's why I got them, especially right now. Anyways, guys, I am going to keep packing. I know you guys don't want to see me uh, gathering random stuff from around the house. It usually winds up being chaotic the last day before a trip. Just like, oh, might need that, might need that. I always bring... 17 pairs of underwear like like I don't have an ostomy bag like I'm going to have an accident okay don't know why I still do that I I literally have not gone to the bathroom in well over a decade at this point decade and a half uh, but still need the 17 pairs of underwear for a five-day trip oh no that's just who I am. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to follow along on YouTube and on Instagram for the Crohn's and Colitis Congress. I can't wait. It's going to be great. And uh, yeah, I will be seeing you very soon from Vegas. Bye, guys.